Hello friends, welcome to knowledgeola.com. This is Dharmendra. So today I am going to explain IBM Quorum Proof of Concept Exercise 1. So this is the exercise prepared by Knowledgeola team and I am going to navigate or you can say I am going to walk through this exercise and explain what components you have to develop in order to complete this exercise. So this exercise video will be in many parts and you have to follow all the videos to complete this exercise. So I'm going to start working on this IBM Quorum proof of concept exercise one. So this is the proof of concept exercise attached as a PDF format here. So what you can do, you can download this PDF format and start working on this. So this tutorial helps the developer to understand the IBM Quorum technical topics like modeling development using the RSA, business logic using the Java programming language, develop user interface using IBM Quorum technique UIM. So this exercise you will get it in knowledgeola.com uh, website problem statement advanced payment for participant what does that means so suppose it is kind of a one-time payment or maybe multiple times payment directly to participant okay so that's why this is called as the advanced payment because there is a crisis happened in the city or a state and the people are running out of money or then what state has to do? They has to give some kind of money to the people so they can survive, they can buy food, they can buy medicines or maybe they can spend on other necessary things. So this exercise belongs to one-time payment or maybe it's up to the business what exactly they want. So for the time being, we are just thinking about it is an advanced payment for participant. Problem description. The advanced payment functionality enable a worker to issue an advanced payment to the participant like person, provider, service provider, etc. Here we will try to create user interface and server code to create and maintain the advanced payment screens. So what component we have to develop? We have to develop create an advanced payment screen modify an advanced payment screen activate an advanced payment screen close an advanced payment screen delete an advanced payment screen list of advanced payment screen for a participant or maybe for a reporting purpose so these are the possible screens which you have to develop. So whenever we talk about the screens, it doesn't mean you are just going to develop HTML or UIM pages. There's a lot of things are required in the backend. So please be aware whenever we are talking about a screen, there is a lot of things in the backend. We will discuss one by one. This is always exciting to work on IBM Quorum product and develop the functionality using its core technologies. Here in this tutorial, we will use all IBM Quorum technologies like RSA, RSA modeling, UIM, code table, messaging file to develop uh, advanced payment functionality for the person. It will be an iterative development process. So please have some patience and wait for the next release. So all the things are there in this uh, pdf so if you see there are total 12 pages are associated so i think this was the just introduction about this exercise ibm quorum proof of concept exercise one for advanced payment next video i will start navigating uh, one feature at a time hope you understand and you like this video Thanks a lot for watching this video. Bye. Have a nice day.